Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, President Armen Agabramen responded to the invitation of CCAF Sud. Artsakh leaves a big cultural festival starts in the Second Armenian Republic. Today is the day of liberation of Berzor. What secret did the Prime Minister want to talk about in the National Assembly? Edmo Marikan opened the parentheses. Armenia in the Bronze Age. Today is the International Museum Day. The history goes back to 13 years ago when during the first Artsakh War, the Heights 5165 Association dedicated to organized humanitarian actions under the auspicious of Hovsep Hovsepian to help the affected population of Marta Gerd in Artsakh. Claude Yervan Tarutunyan, the father of the current co-chairman of the Southern Department of Coordinating Council of Armenian Organization of France, Julian Tigran Harutunyan, was present on the team, among others. Welcoming the co-chairs of CCAF Sud Aurora, Bruna Julian Tigran Harutunyan and Azad Balasan Kazanjian, the president of President Armina Gabramian at the dinner at CCAF Sud is not accidental, even if the date correspond to the data on the eve of the elections of the legislative bodies of France. President Armin Agabraman does not forget about the assistance provided by the Armenian community of Marcel to the Armenian population of Artsakh for 30 years. President Armin Agabraman, together with Senator Brigitte Deveza, met with young representative of Metropolitan Council and Mrs. Martin Vassal, ex-president of Metropolis of Marcel Province, Mayor of Marcel, Mr. Benoit Payan, Deputy of Brooks of Rone, Mr. Mohamed Lakila, as well as with several elected officials who were interested in better understanding the position of France, the Armenian issue, the rights of Armenians in Western Armenia, and who are always ready to support Armenians. Nevertheless, France is also the president of European Union today, so the government of Western Armenia, its parliament, as well as the Armenian communities, should take into account this political reality. This dinner gave the president an opportunity to meet with the leaders of association and active members of the Armenian community in order to better understand the issue of Western Armenia and its current importance in building the future of the Armenian people. Two years after COVID, this meeting was a need, and they did it. The Genesis Armenian Foundation will organize a large culture festival in Artsakh from May 19th to 28, 2022, within the framework of which theatrical performances, film screenings, open national dance lessons, cultural discussions and a large military patriotic concert will take place. The sponsor of the festival, Cos Artsakh Leaves, is the chairman of the board of trustees of Genesis Armenia, Samvel Vartanyan, together with his wife, Anna Dadasyan. The culture festival will be held under the high patronage of State Minister of Republic of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian. The purpose of the festival is to breathe new life into the cultural life of post-war Artsakh, strengthen self-confidence and promote the awakening of spiritual values. On May 19, 24, the actors of the National Theatre will be in the cities of Marta Gert, Martuni, Stepana Gert, Chartar and Agavno. Then the actors will meet and discuss with government agencies, figures interested in culture and the audience. On May 18, 1992, the Armenian armies liberated the vital city of Berzor, linking Armenia with Artsakh. At that time, it was like a corridor of life for Artsakh. With the liberation of the city, the liberation of the entire district, Kashatakh district, also began. On May 13, the concentration of Armenian forces continued near the village of Zorasli, which is located between Shushi and Lachin. Dozens of armed vehicles and a large number of live troops were concentrated here. Communication with Lachin was poor, a hospital, a school and local government building were destroyed there. On May 15, Armenian detachment attacked the village of Gulablu in Agdam district. The Azerbaijani troops having a quantitative and positional advantage impulsed the attack. On May 17, Armenian forces impulsed the attack by Azerbaijani army on Shushi, in which about 1,000 soldiers took part. On May 18, Defense Minister Vazgen Sarkisyan announced that a road linking Artsakh with Armenia has been opened. In the afternoon, and the representative of Azerbaijan Defense Army acknowledged the fall of Lachin. 
On special assignment, IRA Ambassador Edmond Marocan spoke on public television about what secret Prime Minister Nicole Pashinyan wanted to tell in the National Assembly a few days ago, when the deputy from Armenia faction, Armel Rustamian, presented Nicole Pashinyan with a public demand for his resignation, after which the opposition deputies left the meeting room. According to Edmond Marocan, the Prime Minister at that time wanted to say that when Armenia agreed to the Madrid principles in 2007, Armenia thereby did did not recognize the 1991 referendum in Artsakh, at which Artsakh declared independence, since an agreement on a new referendum has already been reached according to Madrid principles. Read the full article on our official website. The ancient complexes of early Bronze Age culture of Armenia are concentrated in Kur and Arak's basins. At the end of the 4th century, Kur Arak's culture spread in the northwestern regions of Armenian highlands, in Iran and in the North Caucasus. No culture that originated in the Armenian highlands has developed like Kur Araxian. The reason for the unprecedented spread was ethnic shifts. Since the middle of 19th century, the Sevan Artsakh culture, mainly presented by settlements, has spread in the east and northern of the highlands. In Armenia, the Iron Age began in the second millennium. The highlands rich in iron reserves become the main suppliers of raw materials in Asia and occupy the dominant position. Among the famous monuments of Iron Age are Metamol, Shamiran, Dvin and Red Hill. At the suggestion of the International Council of Museums, the international community has been celebrating May 18th as an International Museum Day since 1978 in order to unite museums and emphasize their role as educational, cultural and entertainment centers of society. Every International Museum Day since 1992 has a specific theme. From 1978, more than 150 countries of the world, including Armenia, celebrate this day every year. Now musical part Armenian folk song Slava Yehi Azarian Matnerut Mernem <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.